Ooh, my nigga, I'm faded, faded, faded. My nigga, I'm faded, faded, faded. I've had a rough day today. It's been long. It's been crazy. I worked two hours over. Came home, all kind of stuff. It's just, I'm tired. I ain't had nothing to drink. I'm just faded as I'm the the life then just took me out. I'm tossed. I'm thawed. I'm hauled out, draped, dripped up and draped down. I, I, I'm i just, I'm fucked up right now. So I'm going to try to finish this video without cursing though anymore. Anyway, I don't need nobody saying nothing about this shirt. I had this shirt on last night. I wear my shirts twice at home. Uh, this is my house, one of my house shirts that I walk around in and do my home business and duties in. So, shut up. <laughs> no, uh, anyway, listen. So, I'm on here trying to catch up to some things that were talked about on the uh, popping off after my mouth. Starring Chug and Tristan for Dumbass. Facebook page. Hold on. That made me look nasty. Nasty big. Hold on. Anyway. So. Uh, wait a minute. Let me show you this. I got this when I was in Richmond. The video. Uh, not the video. The Olympics was going on. She's. Oh uh, wait. Gabby is Air America's sweet superhero. And then we go with this. And it reads. Let's talk about this for a minute, okay? Listen. I thought this was complete and utter, utter malarkey when this bull short, bullshit was going on. Excuse me. Oh, and controversy was going on. No, granted, the first time I saw her on the first event when they were, no, no, on the opening number when they were walking out and they were waving their head, I was like, baby girl, do something with your head. But then I slowly came to the mindset, that ain't what that girl here for. She ain't out here to wear no, she just ain't no hair show. You know, this ain't no fashion show. This girl coming out here and tied her hair back just like I do when mine is straight. And she going to do her workout. Okay? Uh, she going to do things, workouts that millions of other folks who run in their mouth talking about a hairstyle, talking about a ponytail, could even dream about. I thought that was complete and utter bullcorn. What you think, Tristan? I thought that was real ignorant. I didn't think that she... And see, you come from a family of hair, so you might have a different spin on this. Hair really ain't that important to me. Um, and when I'm going to work, like work, like she's finna go work and I just need to pull it out my, out my face. I dang sure don't care about no hair, but I'm not going to lie. When I first saw her, I was like, Hmm, I don't, that don't look good. But you know, like I said, folks, most folks with good sense quickly realized, Hey, that ain't what that girl here for. She ain't here to look good. Anyway, I just saw that in this pile of mess over here, and I was like, I need to touch on that and see what y'all think about that. What y'all think about Gabby's hair? Secondly, and then then it was so crazy, and then they start talking about how mama and how mama was, uh, what do you call it? Uh, in foreclosure, no bankrupt, bankrupt. Um, so what do you know, folks be claiming bankruptcy and we get a new house two years later? Who give a damn about a bankruptcy? Are you serious? That's stupid. I can't believe they was even talking about that girl like that and took that little girl's focus off of that and she didn't even, you know, do all that well, all that well. She did a great job, but she didn't get to finish how, you know, we might have thought that she could have finished because you niggas was out there bothering her and stuff. You damn niggas. You in the house niggas. You entertainment money niggas. You know what I'm saying? You tennis shoe, fitted cap, fitted cap, fitted cap. Tristan, I know you be wearing them little caps and they be off to the side. That's what you do. That's what you do. I don't like that. And that's what I mean. I don't like it. You older than me. I ain't feeling it. I mean, I ain't going in on you. I just don't like it. And that was the subject of the thing, which it was our dislikes. And that's one of my dislikes. So that is what it is. I ain't into that. I'm not into no fit. It's like, I, I mean, here and there, that's cool. But like... The top of your closet full of fitteds, nah. You know, everyday fitteds, fitteds, nah. After work, I'm throwing on my fitted in my jersey, man. Uh, uh, goodbye. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm, so I ain't changing, just like Nene said. Uh, what else? Okay, so wait. So this is what I want to talk about. These teeth that you are saying, man. I don't understand how people go with folks. 
who mouth is gummy. How do you go with a gummy mouth nigga? How do you go with a gummy mouth chick? I don't get that because when you go with somebody, that gives you the that that means you're intimate with that person. You're intimate by the mouth with that person. And their mouth is gummy. Like who does that? Like I don't get it. How do you go in for the kiss and you got all all that going on? That's nasty. Who does that? Hold on. Yeah. So, you know, they doing all that. Did y'all see that pepper come through? I have me some good old shaken tonight. Oh, let me show y'all what I had, okay? Back to what I'm saying. How do you go with somebody who teeth look like that? That's what I need to know. I don't get it. How do you not be embarrassed? Okay, for one, I asked my homegirl whose boyfriend's mouth, it was an ugh mouth. And the way it was an ugh mouth was, it wasn't, the teeth wasn't jacked up, but the gums, like right around here, had like a 24th of an inch line across of his his mouth. And it was like a, a dark, like a, 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 what is it, a beige over here. And then it went mother of pearl over here, but it still was a cake-like substance on the top of his mouth. And I was like, what the hell is that? And it was always there. It looked like it was almost, uh, like the word shellac. It almost looked like it was like the shape of his tooth, that it was a, 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 a plateau. Now, if you did it like this, it was going to be a plateau of cake and then go down into the tooth and animal. That I, I was like, girl, what are you doing? So, well, that's the only thing that's wrong with him. And I was like, you know what? That brother is fine. The brother is fine. He got it going on here. All this and that. Got a good job. Da, 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 da. But I got dental insurance just like this Negro probably has dental insurance, okay? For all this good thing and da, 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 And that's the only thing that's wrong with him. And he still ain't got that stuff fixed. That don't make no dang sense. That don't make no sense. And you didn't turn a blind eye, a blind eye to it. And, uh, you know, I wish you well with that. That's what I was saying. Let me hip y'all to this stuff right here. Now, I'm going in this trash can. Don't say nothing crazy. I'm going to trash can because I wanted to show you this. Um, normally, you know, at this point when a trash can looks like this, I hope you can see it because I got the camera doing different. When a cat, when a trash can looks like that, I'm, I usually throw it away. I don't do no cleaning out of no trash can. If it gets some oil in the bottom or some food in the bottom, the bitch is going thrown away. Okay. Cause I, I, uh, I ain't cleaning no, no trash can. I do not mean trash can I have to clean out. My mom will hold a trash can, held, held a stainless steel trash can for like seven years. That, that thing was like rusted and crazy and stuff. To my great nobody, that, that thing cost me a hundred some dollars. It's seven years. You didn't got your money worth. Throw that bad boy in the trash. That's so disgusting. I don't, I don't, I don't mess with no trash can, but back to what I'm saying. Baby, if y'all ain't turned on to this Margaret Holmes seasoned pepper and peas, baby, you don't know what good eating is, okay? You don't know what good eating is. Honey, this is the first time. Okay, for one, I'm a fresh vegetable chick. I don't fool with none of that, uh, what is this stuff, in the can, sodium, and all kind of preservatives and stuff in there. I like fresh food. Well, when I was in living Dallas, I was dating this guy, and he made dinner for me, and he made those. And I was like... I said, you ain't make this. Because I knew just the way the other food prepared, you know, he wasn't seasoning up no beans like that. And he wasn't cutting up no no little pieces of peppers and all kinds of stuff like that and no onions and stuff like that. So he was like, oh, no, it's this market home. I said, look, let me tell you something. I don't eat no canned vegetables. This stuff is the bomb. Listen, if y'all ever see me, they'll never so, sh- serve me no, no, no canned food. I just don't do it. it I don't. But I will do this bad boy. Now, this is the filled peas and the snaps. Margaret Holmes go hard in the paint. Now, if you like stuff like Glory Greens, I don't like that, but I have tasted them before. All Margaret Holmes going, it, it's kicking, tearing up uh, Glory and all that all that other mess they got and stuff like that. Margaret Holmes, vegetables in a can. You gotta get it. Gotta get it. Alright? So, anyway, uh, that's just a little bit for me right now. I think I'm about to go lay it down because I'm toe up. I just wanted to give y'all something, uh, a response to Tristan's stuff and a little something about, you know, my day and what was going on. Uh, you know, I know I think I'm going to do another video. Oh, I got to do a response to another Tristan for Dummies comment that he made. Um, yeah, so here we go.